Tensions are high this evening in St. Paul as police investigate the second homicide in three days. It happened at a busy intersection in the middle of the afternoon. Our Jeff Wagner is live at police headquarters with new information. Jeff. Frank, brazen is the word police kept going back to tonight as they described a shooting that played out, as you said, in broad daylight across a busy street. This is the third homicide in St. Paul in less than a week and the 17th of the year. Rice Street, a busy thoroughfare through St. Paul's North End, was shut down near Winnipeg Avenue Monday afternoon as police investigated a deadly shooting. Investigators say someone fired several shots across the street, hitting an 18-year-old man walking on the sidewalk. When police got to the scene, the victim was inside a nearby grocery store. Our officers rendered aid and immediately called for St. Paul fire medics. They responded, and unfortunately there was nothing they could do to save the man's life. He died inside the store. An emotional crowd flooded the block as investigators searched for evidence along a street that normally would be filled with traffic. It's sad that one, that one person lost their life. We're lucky, we're fortunate that more people weren't injured or killed. Near the scene, at Real Life Coffee and Yoga, the owner brewed several cups to give out to bystanders. She says she was trying to spread kindness in an area that's been filled with sadness and fear recently. A shooting happened less than a mile away five days earlier. This homicide is the city's third in less than a week. We have all hands on deck right now. Police say they're pulling resources from other units to help investigate the deadly crimes. The number of shootings in the city have risen compared to this time last year. It's incredibly taxing and it's incredibly concerning and we all as a community need to come together to put a stop to it. Police do not believe this shooting was random. They're hoping surveillance cameras in the area can give them a clear picture of what happened. And, of course, they're hoping that witnesses will come forward and help identify the shooter tonight. All right. Jeff Wagner, live in St. Paul.